I'm on vacation every single day Cause I love my occupation Hey, 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 I'm on vacation If you don't like your life, then you should go and change it Hello everyone, this is John from Nevermore Antiques back again with another What's Sold video. I really appreciate you spending your time with me here on this channel. If you would, maybe you could go down and smash that subscribe button and hit that like button. But what would really help us out more than anything is if you would share this on your social media platforms. If you are a supporter of the channel, you can really help us out by sharing this with the people on your Facebook pages, on your Instagram and whatnot. We really appreciate it. Hit us up on Twitter and we're gonna jump right into this. The first item that I have here is an item that I just picked up the other day. I paid $1 for this item. I listed it, probably listed it a little bit too cheap. The inside of these hats, uh, they start disintegrating and this one did. So I sold it pretty cheap. I put it on there for $30 and it sold like that. Um, so it is what it is, but I figured with the condition of the hat that it was probably 30 bucks. I paid a buck for it. I made $30 on it. So let's just face it, that's a really good profit. I would love to do that about 100 times a day. Uh, the next item that I have here is a fantastic uh, shooting star. It's by Khan. It's an alto saxophone. Uh, this came in, I actually got that. And if you've seen my video from probably like two weeks ago, I picked that up, an alligator head, and a couple of other things came in, and I traded all of uh, a whole diecast collection that I had. I traded all of that for just this stuff, and this alone brought me $118.96. So I was pretty excited about that. I got several offers on it uh, for $90 to $100 as soon as I listed it, so I knew that there was so many people hot after this item that if I just waited, be patient that it would sell and I got I got what I wanted. I did take 15% off, but I typically list uh, all my items a little bit like at the top of the mark and I consistently run a 15% off sale, which really works fantastic for us. Uh, like I said, I run that 15% off. I listed this at 140. That's pretty much top mark. So when I took that 15% off, 118.96 was a really good deal. I never want to be married to any of these items. My goal in this business is to sell items, flip it as quick as possible to make money so that I can buy more really cool stuff and uh, have content to show you guys and to be able to sell it and make money and pay my bills. It ain't cheap. It ain't cheap at all to run an antique store and to have three childrens and a wife. So uh, here is another really cool item. This is a retail arbitrage item that I actually had from two Christmases ago. It was in our warehouse. I didn't realize I had it and I relisted it, sold it for $63.71. They paid shipping out the door and that was a pretty good deal. I mean, I was excited. That was just pure profit. That was an extra 63 bucks in my pocket. Okay, here is a Jungle Book by Rudyard, Rudyard Kipling. Um, really cool. It was a 1932 version. It came with the original dust jacket. Sold it for $13.56. Not a lot of profit, um, but I paid a dollar for it. So I made more than 10 bucks on that. And I know a lot of people out there, they really take exceptions when you show items that um, you only make like 10 bucks on. But let me tell you something, people. If you're passing up those $10 items, if you are an item snob, if you are a profit snob, and you pass up these items and you don't want to make 10 bucks on them, man, you are losing out on a lot of money because I can list five to 10 items an hour. And if I can make $10 profit on each of those items, that is anywhere between 50 and 100 bucks an hour that I am listing. And I don't know about you, but I don't have a PhD. So for me, that is fantastic money. So don't be a profit snob and don't pass up on those $10 profit items. You will, uh, they will add up over the whole year and they will make a huge difference on your bottom line. Okay, so I have a basket here. This is really cool. It was a wooden uh, woven basket, but it had like a farm scene on the inside of it. It was listed for quite a while. Um, we had it listed for probably uh, a good year, but it finally found a home. Sold it for $23.76. It was really light, so that was another $10 profit item. $10 in my pocket. 
Here is a really cool uh, vintage olive drab US Army drill sergeant hat. This is another item that came in on the uh, sale that I told you about the saxophone. So I traded a whole bunch of die cast cars that I had probably 40 bucks in and they set in this case that's right next to me right here for probably good four months and I sold like two cars out of there. I was able to trade that merchandise, turn that trash into better trash and I flipped it for a whole bunch of cash. So between those two items, I made $200 on that flip. This actually came with a hard plastic case, which was super cool. Um, I think that whoever got it got a good deal. FedEx saved my butt on this one. I didn't put the dimensions in when I listed it. And that being said, I ended up, uh, it only ended up charging like 20 bucks and it was going to Washington State and that was going to be a $50 trip so that's pretty crazy I hear my phone going off down there i think someone was trying to call me here we go next item are these little vintage keyholes uh holders this came from an estate sale buyout i had three dollars in these sold them for 21 21 460 shipping and handling you can't go wrong with old victorian house turn of the century hardware you can walk into a house and you can take the door hinges off if it's an abandoned house or getting ready to tear it down Sometimes you might be able to get with the owner and go in there and say, hey, look, for 25 bucks, can I go in there and take whatever I want? You would be surprised how much baseboard trim goes for, how much the old door hardware goes for, even the doors themselves. My whole store here, I've got three displays in my store that's made out of old Victorian style doors and they have a huge profit. So don't be afraid to think outside of the box and go chase that cash. Here we go. Here is a set of uh, Jeep Compass floor mats. I paid two bucks for them at a yard sale. Uh, they were like probably around $12 to ship, but that's still a $20 profit and I'll take it. Here is a set of uh, Zippo lighters. They came in, they were from Durrell. I sold them for $84.96. I paid 25 bucks cash for them, probably about $6 shipping and handling. So I made, that was a home run. That's a good item. My business model is such, I look to pepper my sales with 10 to 20 bucks, sometimes five, sometimes a $5 sale. I'm not gonna be a profit snob. Five bucks is five bucks, folks. So if I can make five bucks on an item, I'm gonna take that five bucks and put it back in my war chest because that five bucks might be the difference between me buying that one item that's just going to be a complete home run and me not even leaving the house because I'm broke. If I'm broke, I can't buy stuff. I paid 25 bucks for these, sold them for $84.96. I'll do that all day long. I'll take them home runs. Here we go. Here's another set of antique doorknobs. Sold them for $21.21, $5.30 shipping and handling. This is the stuff you need to be looking out for, especially if you live in an area that has old houses you can find a lot of this stuff at yard sales because people upgrade. They have no idea that there's any value to it. They'll pitch it and they'll put it out on a yard sale table for a buck and that buck, you can turn it into 21 bucks. So how about that? If you like that, give me a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. Here is another great, I mean, if you're not watching my channel religiously, you need to be at least watching these videos because they're packed full of information on how you can make free money. As uh, Ray, as the entrepreneur puts it, this is free 99 information right here. I, I didn't buy, I almost said bought. I had four of these computers given to me, four of them, and I'm selling them for $125. This one is like, I think I got 125 out of it, a pop plus shipping on top. So when that's all said and done, I'm going to make over I'm going to make $500 on free items that you can put an ad out on your local bicycle trade page, you can put on Facebook, "Hey, do you have an old computer? Let me know. I recycle these computers." And I do. I recycle them. I take them in and I will take the boards out of them. I will recycle the metal. I'll put the boards on eBay. But if it's a good computer, I'll format the hard drive or clean out all the personal information. And then I just list it, and when it, someone buys it, I ship that bad boy out. This was $125 worth of pure profit, pure profit. Here we go. This is a little uh, Ford 1710 tractor. It's a little die-cast toy. Uh, these tractors from like the 70s and the 80s and the 60s, they sell really good die-cast, even the 90s stuff. 
heck, you can go to office, or not office, sorry, you can go to uh, Rural King or uh, Tractor Supply right now, and Tractor Supply has a huge clearance event going on on all of their die cast tractor stuff, so you can actually go there right now and you can purchase stuff on clearance and hold on to it for a couple months and you will be able to sell it because there is a huge collector market behind this tractor, behind these tractors and farm, little farm implements and stuff like that. So never pass that stuff up when you see it in the wild, especially if you can pick it up for a couple bucks. Here is a set of denim, uh, Lee denim rider bootcut jeans. Uh, they're not that, they're not that great. But it's still, it's still like a $20 profit in my pocket. Those were brand new with tags. You got to love that stuff. Here is a Sears microscope attachment for a camera, which is really cool. I sold it for $15.26. Uh, shipping on it was, uh, was one pound wherever it went to. Uh, and it probably actually ended up going first class. So I actually made a little money on shipping on that. So probably by the time it was said and done, that was more than $10 in my pocket. Here is a set of uh, old, these were from Hong Kong, and they're army soldiers. And I sold them for $16.96. They were first class. They probably went for about $5. Another $10 profit in my pocket. Here is a fluorescent lamp uh, ballast. Now, this is one of the items that you can go out, and if you go to your Habitat for Humanity, and you start looking around on their shelves, you can find these pretty cheap, two, three bucks a piece. I sell almost every one of them that I find. This one sold for $29.71 uh, and shipping on top, and I killed it. I mean, I had nothing in this. I picked this one up for absolutely nothing on a table at an auction. It was just a table deal. By the time you average out my cost over all of the items, um, this, was more, this, this was more than free. I probably got paid to take it. Uh, here is a really cool item. It's an Anheuser-Busch Prohibition uh, syrup glass bottle. If you ever see these, if you're ever out and about and you're looking at clear glass and you see anything with Anheuser-Busch on it that's not a beer bottle, that's not an amber beer bottle, that looks like a syrup bottle or a tin or something like that during the Prohibition era, uh, Anheuser-Busch actually quit producing um, Anheuser-Busch actually quit producing like liquor, so they had to find other ways to bring in revenue. And one of the ways they did that was to produce syrup. So those items are definitely Prohibition era, and there is a lot of money in them. Because you can't go to the store today and buy Anheuser-Busch maple syrup. Don't exist, because they're known for making beer. Here is a set of uh, five antique curtain, uh, curtain rods. They're made out of uh, cast iron. Really cool Victorian pole holders. Uh, I, I have some of them listed. If you want, you can actually go look at my uh, items that are listed right now and type in Victorian curtain rod holder and you'll kind of get an idea of what they look like. I might have one in this. I'm not sure if um, I sold one that'll be in one of these what sold videos, but uh, we'll continue on. Here is a yearbook, 1866 uh, profit. I paid a dollar for this, the retrospect. I had that listed for less than less than two days and it sold, gone. Uh, probably media mail. Uh, I know you're not supposed to ship yearbooks media mail, but that's probably the way my wife might have shipped it. Um, either that or first class. Um, it's old and uh, we probably got, I, I, I bet you she shipped that first class because it says economy shipping. Okay, because I switched all my yearbooks because I don't want to take advantage of the postal service. I don't want anyone else to have to pay for my mistake so i've uh i was shipping yearbooks media mail but then i learned from another youtuber that you can't do that so i switched everything because i didn't want to cause any problems um so that one probably went for about five bucks so i made a ten dollar profit on that here we go here is some more uh these are doorknob rosettes they go behind the doorknob they're beautiful they're freaking awesome i love that stuff that was I love Victorian era, the, 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 the detail and the decorations that went into the, the just the beautiful craftsmanship uh, of these rosettes are just amazing. Uh, you know, you don't really see much like that anymore, using brass and stuff like that. Anyways, I digress. Uh, I picked them up at the sale for four bucks, 70% uh, off four bucks, so $1.20, sold them for $21.20. 
and made a good little profit on that. Here is a Scentsy. This is another I keep telling you guys, always keep an eye on Scentsy. I sell a ton of these. Um, I've actually got three of these left. I sold this one for $29.71 and um, I think I paid on their sale, I think I paid three or four dollars for it. Here is a toy, a 1904 Buick uh, diecast, 132 scale. It's really cool. Uh, that came in in a deal. I paid two bucks for it. I sold it for ten. My ten dollar profit margin that I love to be at minimum, and uh, seven fifty four economy shipping. Here is a set of those curtain arms that I was telling you about. These are the uh, those fit down in the the little holders that I showed you, but they didn't match these. They wouldn't actually fit. Those were for skinnier the skinnier rods and uh, I sold these for $25.46 I had about three bucks in them we have another set of the ornate or swing arm drapery curtain rod holders uh, I sold them for 20 bucks 530 shipping and handling still a pretty good deal here is a I had this anything you see with a red background it's been listed for way too long so it finally sold for $14.95 I was glad to see it go I'm happy it's gone. Thank you, Jesus. Here we go. Here is a laptop that was brought into my store. Another one of them items that I got for free 99, 1696, 794 shipping on top. And that was pure profit. Uh, I, just for parts, just parts. Look, I even said that I think it had been, uh, looks like it might have gotten wet. So yeah, it had gotten wet. It had definitely gotten wet. Here is a set of Victorian ornate antique door hinges. $29.71, those are beautiful. Um, they might have been Eastlake, I'm not sure they weren't marked. Eastlake is the name to look out for when you are looking at old Victorian hardware. Here is a Pigmania game. That was freaking awesome. I paid a buck for it at an auction and sold it for $22.06, $7.54 shipping and handling. We have a Colombian dollhouse kit. I sold this for $30. Bucks. They paid shipping. It went FedEx. Um, it's been delivered. All of these items have shown delivered, so there's no complications with them. I'm guessing the people got them, and they were more than happy. Here is a Jack Skellington pewter uh, screw uh, bottle top. I had nothing in this. I was actually, I had went to a yard sale. I had bought the um, Sally, uh, there wasn't the corkscrew, I think it was the popper or whatever, and I had already sold that on eBay for, I think I'd already sold it for like for about the same $13, $14 plus shipping. And the lady knew me and she goes, hey, you know, I found the Nightmare Before Christmas, the Jack Skellington guy. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'd already sold the other piece in my head, but I'm like, I'll give her another buck for that one. And she ended up giving it to me. So that was a $10 profit for free. And uh, that's it. So that was the last item on the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I make these videos enjoyable for you. If you would, once again, as I said, it really is just a huge help when you share this out on your social media, share it to your friends on Facebook and ask them to share it as well. Um, and I really appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. If you did, leave me a comment down below. Sometimes I'm slow at responding, but I read all of them, I promise. And I really uh, just want to thank you. You know, hit that subscribe button, click the like button. God bless you guys. I hope you have a blessed week. Uh, keep on digging, keep on picking. And remember, the family that picks together sticks together. I like everything about you.